Hello everybody, this is Dragonzilla here, and tonight I will be giving my thoughts and opinions on some new figures that have just recently been announced by Eofauna Scientific Research and Bandai. I'm going to start off with Eofauna. Now a while ago, Eofauna announced a figure which was the Diplodocus, and although I think it's an impressive model, it did really grab my attention, and since I owned the Safari Limited 2017 Diplodocus, I'm pretty much satisfied with that figure. However, Eofauna announced another model, but this one has grabbed my attention. And it's a Predacidian, aka a prehistoric elephant. But it's a specimen that I've never heard of. This seems to be a pattern with Eofauna's elephants because the first one was the Step Mammoth, a beast that I recognise. Then we got Paleoloxodon, which was an animal that I had never heard of, at least at the time. Then after him, there was Dinotherium, a giant that I know very well. And now we're back to one that is completely brand new to me. When I originally saw the pictures, at first I thought it was Gunfotherium, but the jaw is totally off. Anyway, it's a creature called Conobelodon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I think it's a member of the Plenibelodonts, a species that I do know. I'll have to do some research on this one, but Conobelodon looks brilliant, and should I do a review on the figure, I'm going to have to showcase him with one elephant at a time. And as you can see, like his predecessors, he will also come with a card. So that's the Eofauna Conobelodon covered, and now on to the Bandai figure. Now a few models have been unveiled, but I'm only going to focus on one, and that would be the Allosaur Kaiju Gorosaurus. Even though it's an updated version of the 93 Gorosaurus figure, which as far as I know, isn't easy to come by nowadays. So when I first heard of this figure, that was through an image of the unpainted prototype. Out of all, I was very excited to find out that Gorosaurus was coming to the Movie Monster series line. I kind of had a sickening feeling that it would be dropped in favour of another regular that has constantly been made since Playmates have already done a Gorosaurus figure of their own. However, that doesn't seem to be the case at all, and the Movie Monster series Gorosaurus looks ace with the paint added on. Bandai are really going into obscure territory with their Kaiju figures. We got Megalon this year, and next year Gorosaurus. I hope that this is a sign that we'll get more obscure Kaiju, like Varen, Kamebus, Manda from Atragon, and I highly doubt they'll do this monster, but you never know. Magima, the Warus Kaiju from Gorath. We're certainly getting a lot of Gorosaurus merchandise of her late. Not just this, but through Playmates that I mentioned earlier. And next year, he will also be part of the new Mezco Wave in the Destroyer Monsters set. So it won't surprise me if he shows up in a future HGD Wave. But I do have one criticism with the figure and that would be the row of spines on his back and the point at the end of his tail. They should be white, not left green. But if you're a customizer, then you could correct this error. However, aside from that, Bad Eyes Movie Monster Series Gorosaurus looks great. So yeah, those are my thoughts and opinions on the upcoming Connor Belladon from Eofauna and Bad Eye Movie Monster Series Gorosaurus. And both figures look fantastic. Not sure if I'll be getting these right away when they're released, or I'll be saving them for next Christmas, which is something I tend to do these days, but we shall wait and see. I am aware of Bandai's Mechagodzilla and Hidora, but they've done the round so many times before, and my opinions on them is the same as the previous models, which is they look great. So that's why all the focus went on Gorosaurus, since it's not too often we see figures of him. But overall, I look forward to be getting these models when they're released. And which of these are you excited for the most? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, by the way, I've seen the first batch of Collector's 2022 figures, but I'll give my thoughts and opinions on those when all of them have been unveiled. And for now, this is Dragonzilla signing out. Take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.